construction of these projects. The engineers project that we can save $100,000 by doing them together. Uh, not only would we save money by doing these projects together, but we would gain added flexibility in the construction and design of both these projects by developing the entire footprint of the high school campus at one time. Safety is a principal concern and a reason, compelling reason to move forward on this project. Uh, I would point out to you, as the slides show, the track is crumbling and it's not safe for competition. The home bleachers are in dire need of replacement and every year the uh, building inspectors are down uh, inspecting the bleachers with concerns about the overall safety um, of the seating area. Within the four walls of Devon High School, we have a wonderful educational facility. The building has been well maintained, not only by the taxpayer and town meeting members, but also by the janitorial staff at Devon High School. The classroom space is excellent. The technology in Devon High School is second to no high school surrounding us, whether it be public or private. We have brand new science labs and foreign language labs. Within the four walls of Devon High School, we have an excellent educational facility. Where Devon High School is falling behind surrounding communities and surrounding high schools is in the condition and the quality of its campus and its athletic facility. Uh, we showed you some slides this evening and told you that 10 out of the 12 BCA conference schools have moved forward and built new athletic complexes and added value to their towns. If we spend $3.1 million, we can, keep, we can keep, keep pace with our neighbors. We can keep pace with surrounding high schools. And in, in addition, what we would do is we would meet the needs of our students and we would end up with a strong competitive high school. I think $3.1 million is a good investment for Devon High School in, in its future. I would also add that by doing the two projects together, we can end up with a comprehensive project that will, I think, enhance not simply the Avery, but it will enhance the high school. We'll end up with a shared facility, a shared campus that I think the entire community can take great pride in. And I would just point out as far as value is concerned, uh, this will be a community athletic complex. It will be enjoyed by every member of our community. I'm down almost every morning and tell you that is in tough shape. The whole thing is very, very bad. The seats are bad, the track is bad, the field is bad. And as Mr. Ryan said, the towns around here have these synthetic fields and the participation from the kids is great on those artificial fields. It's a full-time play they can all the time. It's, they don't stop because a little bit of rain here, a little bit of rain there. Mud, you don't have it. And mud is a, one of the big sins in soccer. I have so many kids get hurt playing in mud. And I know I've had three of my grandchildren get hurt playing in mud. Please consider this article. Thank you. I've been involved in Denham Youth Sports for 20 years. And everywhere we go, I feel the substandard to every other town. It's time to move on. If you go look at the track, it's six inches higher than the field. Someone's going to break their leg. And that's what's going to happen. These kids are going to get hurt. You go to these complexes and it's pride. You walk in with the, with the new every school making it into a complex. It is, it's going to be beautiful. People are going to see it and the whole town's going to have pride. We're going to have pride going onto the field. It can make a difference in how the kids, how they, how they perform because they have pride. You know, we, we walk onto that field, we look at it, and the kids already know they lost because we're playing in mud. We're not even allowed to warm up in the middle of the high school field because there's no grass. They're not allowed to warm up there. And how do you warm up a football team or a soccer team or a field hockey team where are we going to do it? On a turf field, I believe uh, Tom said the maintenance for a grass field is $20,000. This will cost about $500 a year. It just makes perfect sense. I never want to raise my own taxes. Believe me, I never vote for it. But for something like this, I think we're well worth it. Well worth it. In the last couple of weeks, I've had the opportunity to talk to seniors 
and I particularly uh, made, it, made a point of talking to them because I had been hearing little comments about frustration and disappointment that when they came before the town to ask for their senior center, they didn't get it. They indeed have a very dilapidated facility and it's disgraceful what they have. It's a substitute for a senior center. And I was stunned at uh, how many times when talking about Avery School, which we just passed, and the playing field, which we're about to consider, that the conversation gravitated to this senior center that was a missed opportunity. And I got a feeling that that disappointment is sort of the elephant in the room and it will come out on, in January when we all go to the polls. So although this is not January, I would just like to implore all of you that the Senior Center is a wonderful project. We should absolutely encourage seniors to come back and advocate for that in the future. It's terrible what they have. This night and the vote in January is for the kids. And let's not have, it would be terrible that the disappointment that seniors feel would color the way they vote for these kids that deserve their day in the sun, their beautiful new facility. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Clark.